on how you guys doing today so this video is going to be about how i plan to come to canada so first of all if you're watching this video you guys are already thinking about planning your higher studies so first of all i'm gonna tell you one thing if you're if you're planning to come to canada first thing you this procedure this whole thing is gonna cost you a lot of money i'm not i'm, I'm not demotivating you or anything but it's gonna cost you a lot of money so if you think you can cope up with all the hard work and everything eh, you can plan you can plan to come to canada so uh, first thing search for a good consultant so i am from mumbai and i got a recommendation from a lot of people that advice that is in marine life has a good reputation in mumbai according to people that i know who came to canada so for first step is get a good consultant so i came from advice they didn't charge me anything just the registration fee for the form that i filled for colleges and that's it that's that's all the money you're gonna spend if you're gonna go ahead with advice yeah, so this is the first step, get a good consultant. The second step is if you're already studying in India and if you're thinking about going to Canada, first thing is you complete your degree and then start planning to Canada because this procedure is going to take a lot of time and it needs a lot of attention. One mistake and you're going to lose a lot of money in between the procedure. So first thing is complete your degree in India and then start planning but if you think you can cope up with all the work and uh, all the studies and everything your first step is going to be IELTS study for IELTS get a good grade 6.5 and above should be good next step you're gonna go ahead with is get your result for final semester and your degree because that's one thing that colleges are gonna take a look at your degree your average score, whether it's engineering or anything, whether it's a bachelor's in commerce or anything, get your degree of final semester. And it doesn't matter whatever the grades are, if you're planning to Canada, you already know that you need a fair grade to apply for colleges. Overall, I guess around seven and up should be good from 10. I think so, because most of the colleges here, they, look at your grades but they look at your IELTS score if your IELTS score is good and if you're good uh if you're good at academics i think you'll probably get an admission in good college so yeah I, IELTS 6.5 and overall grade should be good and 7.7 and up and all 6.5 and up next step is going to be your transcripts so if you're applying for masters and Bachelors, I think you're gonna need a I, I think you're gonna need transcripts. So how are you gonna get the transcripts? I so I got my transcripts from my college and university. You, you you go there, you go there, you go to your university, you ask for an official transcript, they're gonna you have to write a letter or something to them and you're gonna pay some money and only then you'll get your transcripts within a week or maybe a couple of weeks you have to go there you gotta you gotta pick up your transcripts and you need these are your official transcripts and you i guess you'll even need your unofficial transcripts that you will get from your college and it's the same procedure you go to your college you tell them you need transcripts and you're gonna write a letter you're gonna fill a form or something you're gonna pay them money and they'll give you a transcript within a week. <laughs> Next thing, if you're gonna apply for PGDM and diploma, you, I don't think you'll need any transcripts for that. You'll need only attested documents from uh, a lawyer or a doctor or anyone. Just get your copies attested, make them a true copy and you'll be good to go. Because colleges, they don't need transcript for PGDM and diploma. They just need your attested true copy a tested copy, yeah, the true copy of your results and your mark sheets and your um, whatever extra curricular activities that you're gonna submit to college. 
you need them attested for admissions and for masters and bachelors you need proper transcripts next step is get your documents ready get your sops get your letter of recommendations if you're going to apply for masters and bachelors you might need letter of recommendations and for visa you might need sop and lor as well so get them ready so the next step would be after your admission after you get your admissions apply after you apply for colleges you pay them registration fees you get your admission you got everything sorted out after that you apply for gic good banks for gic i think is um cibc hdfc and icici i applied for icici because i didn't have like a lot of options back, back then when i applied in 2017 i went with icici it's because my agent suggested me and i think and i thought icici is a good bank and it is a good bank but right now uh if you're gonna go ahead with go ahead with cibc 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 is a nice bank so just apply for gic with any of the banks that you prefer and get your gic ready you might get a confirmation within a week or maybe a couple of weeks so get your gic ready and after a week or maybe two if you get a confirmation when you're gonna con when you get a confirmation from your bank that your gic is approved get a letter uh they, they'll they'll mail you a official letter that says that your gic is approved and after that and 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 the next step after your gic would be you gonna start applying for your visa so if you get a good consultant which i did they helped me with all my procedures and visa and they they filled out my whole form for visa and everything they got my biometrics date so in 2017 uh, i don't think we needed biometrics we the biometrics were the biometrics were done locally i think so so i don't think we needed we needed to go to we needed a date we need a particular date to get our biometrics done. I think they were done locally. Or maybe they or maybe they didn't need any kind of biometrics. I'm not sure. But now, if you're gonna apply for a visa, the first thing you're gonna do is fill out your form, get your date for biometrics, upload all the documents, and every get a confirmation from their side that your date is booked and you're gonna go there, you're gonna give your biometrics. I don't think there's uh, there's any kind of um, a point. Uh, I don't think there's any kind of interview or anything for student visa for Canada. You just go there, you give your biometrics, and I think you're good to go. And yeah, that's the whole procedure for your visa. And after that, you're just gonna wait. <laughs> so I think the current waiting time for your approval, your final approval, is around five to six weeks or maybe more at least six weeks so yeah this was the whole procedure for your planning to canada my planning was a bit different in 2017 the things were actually just a little bit different but i know the current procedure because i have helped a lot of people with a lot of their application so yeah um this is it this is the whole procedure if you guys have any doubt or any queries or any questions just hit me up on instagram i'll be glad to answer you all your all of your questions and just let me know i'll try to answer as soon as possible and start your procedure good luck with everything that you're going to plan with just don't worry about anything the process is swift people are nice here and i think if you're planning to come to canada over here you might as well get started as soon as possible because the process might take some time and it's a nice country you'll enjoy <laughs> at, at the point if you guys are planning there will be a lot of uh, backlashes and you will face a lot of problems in between but in the end it's all going to be worth it so just if, if you guys are planning don't back out it's going to be good here and just go with the flow don't rush on anything and you guys would be good.
please please please, please guys don't forget to like share and subscribe this video i'm gonna post more content like this in coming time see you guys in the next video